Yeah, that's what I want to see. Well, this is a new meta. Uh, let the AI land and then just combo raid them from behind. Hey, I am Feedback Gaming and this is Hearts of Iron 4. Today's video is about this, the cat. Is it this, the fancy Turkish teapot? Is it this, salt <gasps> being spilled? Horrific. A what about the Hagia Sophia? Is that what this video is about? Hmm. No, this video is actually about Turkey. Nah, joke. It's actually about this battleship here. Or you could say this is a light cruiser. Hmm. Lots and lots of light cruisers. Single player, new game, 1936. And we are going to be playing as Germany. Potentially the bad guys of the Second World War. I don't know why I said potentially, because we're still going to do that. Regular, historical. Off we go. So it's a feedback gaming video. Did you know that light cruisers in Hearts of Wine 4 are completely and utterly broken? Let's merge up that fleet. Let's go into national focus. And let us do the naval rearmament. Anglo-German agreement. We secure in 1935 allows us to expand our navy greatly. We should spare no effort in doing so. Three naval factories all in Hanover. Hanover, Britain. Hmm, connection maybe. Let's go. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Anti-air, yeah, why not? One on the motorized, and yeah, we'll forgo the Air Force. What's all this? All these ships? Th this is not ideal template. Let's get rid. Let us construct the more ideal ship, the convoy. Oh yeah, and we've got a bunch of artillery too, so we put all of that. Civilian factories here, and we're gonna go for basic machine tools, gonna go for construction, gonna go for raiding patrols. Yay, all the bonuses we need. And we will start by researching the Cruiser 3 hull. It's not the cruiser that we want. It's this, the engine. Speed, fuel usage, production cost. Actually, just the speed. Naval rearmament is done, and we're gonna go for some more naval effort, giving us 25 naval XP, as well as a bunch of naval dot yards and a boost for light cruisers. And we're gonna grab our ships, exercise to level three or whatever, give it Carl Donitz. Oh, 80 days worth of fuel. That's gonna be drained pretty quickly. What is this? Naval experience. 0.3 per day. That's going to come in handy. Do you know what else will come in handy? This naval guide. Give it a click. Next one we're going to go for is going to be expand the dockyard facilities for four naval dockyards. So at the same time now, we're going to hop on to something else. So in this case, we're going to need uh, fire control methods for the extra attack bonus. And with that, we hop off that and then hop back onto Light Cruiser to research it in 431 days. Boom. Top that off as well. Ship designer. Raiding fleet designer for extra screening, less visibility and more speed. Faster and harder to see. Imagine it like so fast, it's just a blur. Why are you coming for us? It's time for Rhineland. Rhineland done, free trade is next. And then we'll go for army innovations. So let's think about the upgrades we're gonna go for. So once we've got light cruiser hull three, uh, we're also gonna need improved catapults. Top that off, it's also useful to get these passive bonuses for fire control and also these passive bonus for better shells. All right, next up, the four year plan, which gives us some nice bonuses for industry. Next up, fire control methods, spend the naval XP. So we just complete the fire control methods, use the XPs to boost them. Do it. Hop on the demagogue, hop on the war economy. Let's max out that infrastructure and they can build a few refineries. Yeah. We can use a boost for disperse three and four. All right, Cruiser 3 is complete. And for the most part, that's all the modules we can research at this current point in the game. Now, you can upgrade and refill later on, but who really wants to do that? So let's just stick with this. So, Cruiser, A model. Oh, what a beauty is this? So, first of all, we need to put on decent cruiser armor. We're going to pop on a secondary AA, the biggest engine that we've got. We also have a bit of sonar, why not? And fire control. Yeah, fire control is okay. Uh, Anti-air, yeah, max anti-air. Rapid fire gun is a light cruiser. A medium battery is a heavy cruiser, the more you know. In this case, if you look at the numbers here, you can see which ones give the most amount of light attack. And the most light attack is light cruiser battery too. So that's one we're going to go for. And again, uh, go for a single depth charge, just the one. And then a single float plane catapult. Brilliant. So this has a little bit of AA potential. Lots of light attack. A little bit of depth charge potential. Anti-submarine warfare. But overall, the key number, the whole number, is light attack. We are going to stack lots of that. This is the one. Save it. Construct the new light cruiser. So we're going to go for these ones too. Light caliber, armor shell, extra 5% and attack and piercing. Same for this one as well. Time for Anschluss. There it is. Our very first light cruiser. Look at this baby. Check out that firepower. Beautiful. Carl Donitz is the man for the job. I named the 
the feedback. Let's go for an agency because this gives a little bit more naval intel and we can use this against the British. Spotting is half the battle. Do you want to hear a joke? Promises of peace. I'm Hitler. <laughs> Let's start exercising our new boys, split them up if need be, and drop all the new ships onto this new navy. Localized trading centers, UK spy. Oh, look at the mustache on that guy. Boom. Focus on naval department. I think this is the first time I've ever clicked this. Time for a few extra naval dot yards. More civilian factories and more naval dot yards. Right, we've done Danzig of War. We've practically got all the focus we're ever going to need, apart from the odd one or two. So it's time to go for the most important focus of this game, and it is naval production. An extra juicy 20% dockyard output. Britannia rules the waves no more. Few high command we need to go for immediately. Chief of Navy, we have to go for decisive battle. And this one's a bit on the fence. You can go for the max range, go for the air attack, or go for the submarine detection. Almost time for Poland. Let's bring back our Navy. We currently have 10 light cruisers. We're going to have to do better than that. That's way too few. In this case, that's right, more naval dot yards. All right, 22nd of April, declare war. Attack with everyone apart from you boys. Ooh, rip. Wow, seven twos on autopilot. Aren't they effective? Okay, we're going to go for radar because at some point we might refit our ships with radar. We'll see how things go. Gone. Got our light cruisers in the Eastern North Sea. Enemy fleet here, 196 ships. This gives us extra detection because we have air superiority. Let's see if we can spot something. Let's try patrol instead. Hello, hello. What do we have here? First battle, we have engaged the light cruisers with a total attack power of 542. The outcome, complete annihilation. Even when the main capital ships arrive, our cruisers all get away, not with a single loss. Rip. So I'll admit right now, we've taken a little bit of damage, so we're going to go back to base and repair. But remember, we've not lost a single ship is where things are looking pretty hot. Check this out. <sighs> wow. Patrol again? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Spotted enemy navies. Spotted and 100%. And it's a bunch of destroyers. Destroy the destroyers. Wrecked. Next. Spotted another fleet. Detected. Bunch of destroyers. Wrecked. Every single one dumpstered. Another fleet detected, and that ended so quickly I couldn't even see the battle. All the destroyers dead. And again, and again, and again. Engaged. Oof, more screens. Annihilated. Again, annihilated. And now we engage convoys. Watch this. Every time you see a convoy raid, immediately they get engaged. There we go. And instantly, once again, there we go. They engage initially so quickly, strike them and destroy them immediately. Unlike submarines, which have these very slow pursuit, these cruisers instantly hit and instantly annihilate the convoys. We now have 26. We get in the numbers. Yeah, we well, don't know the Dutch anymore. Off they go with very, very little resistance. See, this is the reason why you make so many civilian factories. Everyone's like, oh, Dave, you're making too many. Now, come on, guys. Come on. This is why you make this many. Time to bring out the shredder. AA for the win. One issue we're having right now is lack of detection. So what I'm going to do is go very heavy on the radar that we could slap on a big chunky radar station. So we'll finish all these ones off. Then what we'll say is we're going to make a modification to light me up too. And what we're going to pop on there is instead of sonar, we're going to add a radar three. Lots of extra detections. Done. Let's let these ships refit them to the light me up too. Oh my goodness, there's a lot to refit. Anyway, engage with the newly added AA on and this should shred and they've all been refitted now and now they all have mark 3 radar our detection now should be incredibly solid engaged in combat oh my god oh friendships wrecked all right let's engage in the english channel now fight the big boys oh and here they are and i blinked and i missed that don't underestimate the power of light attack guys oh my god look at the pinging oh here we go a big one Oh, this is a big one. We lost one cruise. They lost 31 destroyers. Oh, that was definitely worth. All right, we need to break this. Push, uh, apart from you on the Maginot line. Off you go. Stalemate, finally broken. Oh my. Go big or go home. And big is the only thing that I do. All right, there we go. Disperse five is complete. Stability is something we can work on, hence why we did Promises of Peace. Naval production, continuous focus, and free trade. This is the maximum bonuses you can get. And even then, they're not that great. See, this is why I make submarines every game, guys. Now you know. All right, let's do the submarine Atlantic warfare strategy, uh, but with light cruisers. Ooh, this is a spicy one. That's a lot of Filipino convoys, and they're sunk. 45! 
five. Damn. This is an old history I can get behind. Uh, the Germans are destroying the British and American fleets by just simply using lots and lots of light cruisers. And uh, who's supplying this war effort? Oh yeah, that's right. Steel from the Soviet Union and fuel from the Soviet Union. Unlikely allies, right? Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let them land and then I'm gonna let themselves attrition themselves to death because they're gonna get no supplies. And every time they try and reinforce, they're gonna lose their divisions as they try and land. So yeah, bring it on. Okay we're running away this time oh look at these troop convoys more troop convoys ah oh, these are worth their weight in gold if you knock out divisions at sea it's like it's technically an encirclement what are these either indian or canadian troops yep that works baited we got here some more baited those were actually just about to land they're actually in the duration of a naval invasion and they were intercepted and annihilated at sea oh that is so tragic and again, this time with some big ships, and they're all running away. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I want to see. Well, this is a new meta. Uh, let the AI land, and then just convoy raid them from behind. Check this out, guys. Just look at this. See, every time it pops up on screen, it's eliminating more troops. Every single one of these convoys is a bunch of divisions. Every time it blinks on screen, there's another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Oh, this is so broken. Just look at the American casualties here. So every time there's a few thousand that die, it's because they're getting sunk in the ocean. At the moment, I think most of it's happening right here. So the Soviets went for the focus to declare on me, but they just didn't declare on me. And right now they're doing shenanigans by declaring on Afghanistan and taking out the allies in India. Yeah, Stalin, you've gone absolutely mad. I think it's time that we put a stop to this rubbish. Japanese invasion of Crimea. This is, as we know it, the one historical game. It's the Eastern Front. Do what Mr. H never could. Not wounded, no. Conquer it. Oh boy. This is something. I don't think we've caught a single carrier yet. I think carriers are really fast and we can't catch up. Oof. Never mind. I take it back. I can't even get my head around that. How, how did they lose seven carriers? Were they unescorted? The simultaneous cheers as everyone in Germany says, Mr. H has the better mustache. Magnificent. Check out those borders. Beautiful. It's been a long time and uh, yeah, the end of these weird pockets. I think I've had enough of them now. We bring the boys back and then we do naval invasion, naval invasion, naval invasion. All right, I think I'll do. The shredding of the cast. Oof. 70, 50. The dawn of the Asian Combine. Ah, Asia, Paraguay. Hmm. So this is the embargo. Let's play another episode of what is the AI up to? Let's check out the UK. UK has zero fuel, has absolute crap ton of convoys, neglecting their air and focusing very heavily on just raw materials by the looks of things. Likes making convoys though, that's for certain. And USA is having a really hard time with supply in the UK. Good, the embargo is working uh, for everyone else other than the UK, surprisingly. Oh, and also they have no convoys, interesting. Hey, we're back to Germany. It's me, Hitler. All right, late naval invasion time. Hey, reverse D-Day. Yay, a beachhead. We ended up with 141 of them. Oh, this is a big one. Did you enjoy this video? Well, then like and subscribe. Then I love you.